It happened eight years ago, on a warm summer evening in July, in the most secure, deepest underground bunker operated by the ITC, the International Time Council. Seven men from different countries who were on shift that evening were facing the end of the world. The ITC is the managing body of the Doomsday Clock, which controls the terminal reactor, also known as the last bomb. Its name needing no further explanation. Something had gone very wrong with the arming circuit, and a five-minute countdown had begun. Discovering that the worn contacts on a dime-sized relay called a Toridium Grid was the culprit, they breathed a sigh of relief. Sure, they had a replacement in the relay storage vault in the corner. So they tore through the vault, shoving collister diodes, varivolts, coaxions, and traxial linkages aside in their search. They looked behind the intactic conductor assemblies, the resistor multipliers, and the stack of Gabler amplification contacts. Two minutes till detonation, when Mrs. Fenwick came in with a stack of files to be sorted and asked what they were so frantically searching for in the vault. Where's the Toridium grids? I could swear they were in here, the leader of the group uttered in a cold panic. Mrs. Fenwick put her files down and calmly walked to the vault where she reached behind two Varivolt coaxions and brought out a package of four Toridium grids. With 30 seconds left, the part was replaced, and the men left the room, congratulating themselves on having saved the world. So then she went back to sorting her files into nice and even little piles, and her face broke into a few smug little smiles because she'd used a tool most women possess to find pteridium grids and to straighten the mess, always left by men who search in vain to find that doodad so sure they left behind. It's a kind of radar, married scientists confess. Their wives can find things for men in distress as they move, toss, shove things out of the way to find that thingamabob they claim to have put away. Honey, where's the... is the question that turns that radar on, and if you add, I know I put it there and now it's gone, it will evoke... An eye roll of tired exasperation as she reaches in and finds it without hesitation. And the doohickey you swear you put in that drawer, she'll find it so easily, just like she did before. She'll find that doodad, the dingus you stashed, you dug through the cabinet and went through the trash. She'll find it right away for her. It was easy. It was right there all the time, dear, she says, light and breezy. Because men have a blindness where we miss the obvious. We're hunters, often hampered with hurried cockiness and a bit of sloppiness. Impatient searchers, always in a hurry, used to keeping things in a hustling flurry. There's stuff we often seem to misplace that makes us better humans instead of rats in the race. Like the impulse to show we really care with a gentle touch or a caress of the hair. A woman can find where you put that, I swear. Find it inside you in that self-protective layer. Or the goodness you had buried deep in a hole, she'll find it. Pull it gently to the top of your soul. And the smiles you once used to light up a room that are now replaced with that expression of gloom, so if you wake up one day and you just can't find the thingamajigs or the pteridium grid that really defined the man you once were, you've looked 
but he's lost, take a chance. Ask a woman at no extra cost. A Mrs. Fenwick of your own. She'll easily find that missing part and save your world from doom and give you a new start.